right last race of the day now for this Inter 100 group. 100cc bikes dominated by the Kawasaki's. And we're looking for number 12, Barcook, number 8, Jamie Breeden, and number 71, Leon Day. Let's see who's going to take the early lead. Got all the pack following through these early bends. It's number 31, I believe, from eight. So number eight. Yeah, that's 31. That's the bike of Mark Thomas. Mark Thomas, number 31, comes from South Wales. We're looking at uh, <laughs> number two. Uh, number eight is in second spot. That's Jamie Breeden. So 31 from number eight. We're looking for number 12. There's a whole gaggle of riders going through this bottom section of the track. It's still number 31 in first spot. That's Mark Thomas, the Welsh lad, from number eight, Jamie Breeden. Looking at 48 and 78, they're also coming through. But keeping our eyes open for number 12. eyes open for 12 and 6 spot. So we've got a new leader with us. That's number 8. That's the Kawasaki of Jamie Breeden. Jamie's had a race win. He's also had... We're staying with the leaders on this early lap as you see the rest of the field wind their way around the horseshoes. So it's number eight, Jamie Reed Breeden in the front, swerving it round that Suzuki sweep there, jumping into view, Jamie Breeden coming from Peterborough. It's still Jamie Breeden in the lead, you can see number 12 mark up there in the chasing pack. So Jamie Breeden comes from Nottingham. He's seven and a half stone, he's 13 years old. He likes running and swimming as well as his motocross. And uh, he's been riding for some four years now. He's already into the Honda turn. Certainly Jamie trying to stretch the lead because he knows number 12 markup is certainly gonna be chasing before very long. They're down at the bottom before the uphill steps now. That's number eight. Jamie Breeden gets the front wheel well up into the air around the Kawasaki turn. He's followed in line by 31. Mark Thomas and 48. Lee Powell and number 12. So, Mark Hook, number 12 in fourth spot. There he is, just going round by the finish line turn. He's won all his races so far, and he's done them all from the back. He's going to pick up another place as we go back to Breeden. Breeden is there in the lead at the moment. Number eight, as we see the rest of the pack chasing through, kicking up the dust as they go past this finish line. But it's Breeden now back on the dirt wheels, top half of the track. Powering down the downhill section into the Howard and Howard turn, taking it wide, avoiding what ruts he can, into the Suzuki swerve now. Disappears from view, being, being told to nail the throttle over, nail it open, let's get the best out of the bike. Clouds of dust coming up from that back wheel. 
And we see second, third, fourth place come up behind. Looks as though Hook is up to third. So number 12 moving up through the pack. As we see Breeden, the back wheel kicks out. Wants to uh, join around. That back wheel wanting to join up and hop up into the front wheel. As it's Breeden on this short cambered straight. There's second, third, fourth. That's the battle. It's all Kawasaki's. Can't see the Honda of number 24, Lee Mason, who was showing at the racing earlier on. Whoa, nice little stutter there. Gets the power back on the bike. Feet up again. They went their way down through that bottom bridge. It's still Breeden, number eight, from, Northam from Nottingham. And we see the chasing pack. It's still still 48 and 12. So 48, there's Lee Powell in second spot. Number eight just crossing the finish line. But it's 48 and 12. Looking for the distinctive yellow helmet of 48 in second place. 12 and third as the rest of the pack go going down through this sweep. And it's Breeden, number eight. He's in control at this moment in time. It's a question of not to Mark Hook, number 12, can actually make up all the ground and get the win. And number eight, a little bit wide on that. Scooting into the side of the hedge. Squared it up, down the hill. Back now into the Suzuki Swerve. He's making this race certainly all his own at this moment in time see the two pods at the side of his goggles they contain a continuous clear film and he pulls a little handle and it gives him clear goggles at the, the pull of the handle second and third coming into view it's 48 and 12 as the leader comes on the top straight away but waiting now for second and third there they are number 12 mark hook he's got second position so number 12 in second spot 48 and third. So Mark Hook made that second place his. He only needs to finish third, but this lad is looking for another win to give him another maximum. So that's the two three, four and five in the view there as we see Jamie Breeden taking this right hand side now of this uphill jump, favoured by so many riders, that's number 12, he's closing the distance and there's 48 in third spot so we can see the leader there number 8, followed by number 12 oh he stalled it, he stalled his bike, got it going again fairly quickly, but that cost him a few yards Coming through the finish line now, Jamie Breeden's got a little bit more room to breathe. So, number 12, number 8, Jamie Breeden, our current race leader. That's the battle for third and fourth. That's the fifth place man. So, back with the leader, Jamie Breeden, number 8. Nice splash of colour with his riding gear as he goes into the Suzuki Swerve. 100cc bikes, they're the only 100cc is made by Kawasaki. There's a few Hondas out there, but they're either 80ccs or modified 80ccs to take them up to 100. Kawasaki always strong sponsors of schoolboy sport. As we've just seen Nate go through onto the back straight away. That's the second place man, that's number 12, that's Mark Hook. He's on the right hand flick, then the left. There's the leader just going through. The At 12, Mark Hook following him. So Mark Hook currently second place. So Mark Hook 
Patrick, number 12. Down on the bottom there, we can just see Jamie Breeden in it ahead of him. Mark Hook, perhaps all these wins have taken it out of him. Although he had a rest in one race when the bike expired. But Jamie Breeden up with the Kawasaki turn already. There's Mark Hook. He is closing the gap. So continual pressure there from Mark Hook. There's Father. Got the pit board out saying, there's your time. You're, you've got 10 minutes past, so you've only got two minutes plus one more lap. I would think they're only going to do two more laps for this race. So Breeden away and up for the first of the horseshoes. Around the corner, dropping down for the second one. He's certainly in the attack position. The head and the upper body gets over in front of the bars. Just flips up by the hedge there again as he drops down into the gully once more. Round the Howard and Howard turn. We can see number 12 in the background. So eights hit the swerves. But number 12, Mark Hook, isn't far behind him. There he is. There's Mark Hook. He's closing ground. He's only got a couple of laps to do it in, though. Whoa, and he's not going to do it like that. That back end kicking around. It's going to cost him time all over the place. That was a smoother turn as Braden comes up onto the top straight. And Hook. <laughs> Front wheel clawing the air. This lad, very, very determined. So, number 12, Mark Hook in second spot as we see Braden drop down into the camera turn. He's followed by num Mark Hook, number 12. Mark coming from Whitecroft near Lydney. So it's a Gloucester lad, been riding for three years. He likes swimming, athletics, rugby, so all the sports. But I think motocross is his number one favorite. So it's Breeden coming up the uphill steps towards the Kawasaki turn, around the Kawasaki turn. So Jamie Breeden, number eight, he's swinging around that bottom corner, through the straight, through the finish line, he's got the last lap flag, number 12 got the last lap flag this time as well, but I think he's left it too late for the win, but Mark Hook, number 12, only needs second place to the secure the overall win, he's had four wins, a DNF, which he'll discard as his worst result, and a second if he stays where he is. So he will take the overall win in this Inter 100cc group. Ages between 12 and 13. There's eight going through the loop. There's, and there's Hook. He's not that far behind, but I don't think he's gonna give himself enough time to get back on to challenge number eight Jamie Breeden that back end skitters round he drops down Breeden's only just in front of him he is closing yards and Mark Hook possibly being a bigger lad has got that uh, little bit of extra stamina number eight Jamie Breeden a smaller lad got the right and the left flick it's by the Mitford Land, Land Rover sign there Breeden already on the camber straight away. And Mark Hook just comes into view. Down into the Honda turn. He's just got this, this little bit of straight. Down into left and right kink. Then he's got that right hand sweep, which will bring him into the uphill three jumps. So there's eight, there's 12, just behind. Didn't quite hit that one right. He hit that one right though. Breeden on the turn. 12 on the turn. He's not gonna make it. Breeden's gonna get the race win. But Mark Hook, number 12. He's dashing down. He's right on the back wheel now. He's not gonna make it. It's gonna be a win for number eight, Jamie Breeden. Breeden's got the race win. Hook's got the overall though. Mark Hook's got the overall. He's the 1990. PSMA champion on this TVM sponsored event.